I went from condos to pops house, on calls now bus routes, and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out. Also, Cowboy, talking about how like you know you come together with all sides, and I could you know see that with the with the different color rags on you right now, and the blue rag, the red rag, and everything like that. What are your thoughts behind uh, you know? Uh, Crip Mac, who walk around with the Hoover, you know, tatted on him and everything like that, you know, um, seem like he involved in something, you know, every time we turn around. What are your thoughts with, you know, somebody just having that on his head like that? You know? uh, well, once it's on your head, you got to ride with it. That's yeah. that. Yeah. You got to ride with it. You got to ride that. Then, then the Hoover, the, <laughs> no, I'm saying, the Hoover, yeah, you got, I mean, the Hoover's that see it, <laughs> you got to ride with it. So the Hoover's that see it and, and, and don't do nothing, then that's the hoovers that don't do nothing. The hoovers that see it say, oh, I need that. It just, you know, if you got a hood whacked out on you, if you got, if a, you'll be in prison. And, and if you get a tattoo and you whack a hood up while you in prison, if you didn't come to jail with that hood whacked out, or if you come to the hood with that hood whacked out, niggas see you on the yard and you got a C whacked out, niggas say, hey, bro, hey, I'm gonna need that. You come knocking on your cell like, yeah, crack the door, I need that. Move your TV out the way, I'm gonna need that. Squabble up, y'all go back about your way. You know what I mean? So if you went to whack a nigga hood out, like if I come to the yard and I see a nigga got a six whacked out, I'm like, hold up, bro, I'm gonna need that. Or if I look at the six and I keep pushing, he gonna be like, weenie ass nigga. So, you know, Crip Mac standing what he stand on. That's one thing I do hear about him. You know, he, he, he take a fade with on. anybody he need to take a fade well, with. Well, he ain't so. got no choice. Yeah. And that's, and that, like I said, that, that's, that's the generation I grew up on. It wasn't no, you take a fade, win, lose, or draw. You know what I mean? Like I said, win, lose, draw. Crip Mac come fuck on me, nigga. I got, I got, I got some techniques for a nigga. I had a nigga a beast. I had a cousin be a beast. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I, I seen a couple of the little squabbles, but yeah, I had cousin beast. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it, it's really what you stand for, though. You know, uh, at some point in his life, I got another homeboy. He got the uh, the uh, the H whacked out on him. He got the oranges whacked out on his neck or whatever. But he got he got associates that's from Hoover though. You know what I mean? And they do function onto a, on a certain level. You know what I mean? So even at that degree, at, at the time you got that tattoo, you felt the way when you whacked out that little the H or you whacked out whatever you whacked out, you whacked out a B, whatever you did. But later on in life, you might not feel that way. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, I was in prison. A dude wanted a tattoo. Uh, he was from uh, uh, San Diego or something. So I tattooed the big B on it. And he was like, well, I need you to whack it out. And I'm like, man, you sure? I said, when you hit the yard with that shit and whack it out, that shit ain't gonna be cool. He's like, yeah, yeah, just whack it out. I'm like, I don't know. So I whacked it out, and sure enough, he hit the yard. <laughs> he came back with a black eye, and they gave me a bag, a bag of noodles. Like, man, shade this, cover it up. I said, man, little nigga, I told you. You feel me? I told the nigga. So that generation is still a code and a... Just like when niggas talking about, you know, you hear them rapping, talking about bacon back, being boo, or kicking cack, seeing cool, that, that's really disrespecting another gang. When you, you know, you don't want to say the C, or you want to just say all B, so you don't want to, you know what I mean? But, you know, it's time, it's time to evolve, it's time to move on. You know, we, we've been killing each other, like my homeboy uh, Malik Spellman said, the war's been going on in America here and there. The war with these gangs ain't never stopped. We never stopped. They wars in the, in, in the you know United States. We got wars going on, but the wars in L.A. never stopped. Never took a break. Even big wars stop at some point. At some point, you got to stop. I mean, every war in America, the Civil War, the all, I mean, just different wars, whatever, World War One, World War Two, whatever, it got to stop. So where, where the war gonna stop? Yeah. Yeah. At some point, you, some point, niggas gotta be like, you know what, fuck that shit, I'm done with that shit. So it's good niggas like Kondo, Rondo, it's like, nigga, fuck that shit. Cause that shit's some bullshit. Now, if it stood for something like we together and we strong and we, we united, we get money, but now, okay, it stand for a nigga, if I hang over here, one of these niggas gonna kill me. It don't stand for we over here united, we brothers, we black, power, strong, let's go. <laughs> no, it don't stand for that. It stand for like, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> I'm representing that rag, I'm representing that hood. It ain't even the rag no more, it's even to the hood. So now we separated with the red and blue, but look at everybody else's. They got white, so that's a race. You got brown. That's a race. 
We got black, but they got the red and blue and the orange and the purple. So the, the black races broke down the colors, all these different colors, instead of just that one color. So we got all these colors that's separating them. That's the only thing separating these colors. I grew up in this this color neighborhood. You grew up in that color. If your mama would have grew up in this color neighborhood, you'd be from here. If my mama would have grew up in Inglewood, I'd be from here. You'd be talking about Cowboy the Blood, because I grew up in Inglewood, a couple blocks over. Yeah, yeah. Or you been talking about Cowboy from a Trey Gangster, because my mama grew up on Normandy. Yeah. Cowboy from Compton, Cowboy from Pasadena, PDL. Wherever my mama grew up at, whatever my community was, that's where I was going to be from. I had to show them that I was a man.